We've got a lot to talk about. My situation over the 12 years that I've been here entertaining you on television. Welcome to Hot Topics, Sharina Hudson. <laughs> Getting out of my car <laughs> with my money. <laughs> Good morning, Journey. She'll be almost, th I think she'll be three next month. They say that what goes around comes back around. Well, Kevin Hunter could be on his wits and right now, knowing that he just recently lost the case that he filed against his ex-wife, Wendy Williams. Something else must be bothering him at this very moment, considering that if he really goes broke, there will be a high chance that Sharina Hudson will leave him for good if he can no longer give her everything that she wants. If there is one thing that both of them agree on, then that would be money. They have been enjoying Wendy's money while their affair was going on, and now they're still trying to extort more money from her as if everything that they got was not enough. At this point, all of us might be thinking the same thing, and that is that they're expecting Wendy to support everything that they will ever need for the rest of their lives. How could a cheating ex-husband even think of that? Well, Kevin is out of this world because he does not even have the honor and respect to provide for his own family using his own hard-earned money. He's still thinking that he should always have a part in Wendy's money even though he did not particularly contribute to her success. Wendy must have endured a lot during their marriage, especially that she was aware of how much of a serial cheater Kevin is. She even suffered more when she found out that Sharina was pregnant and she finally decided to divorce Kevin. Even though she never had it easy when she was still with Kevin, she's surely given Kevin and Sharina a taste of their own medicine. Now that Wendy's cutting off Kevin's alimony pay, this is a clear sign that she does not want anything to do with him and that she's so done with the drama that Kevin keeps on involving her in. Let us talk about how lavishly Sharina lived her life while both of them were benefiting from Wendy's money. You see, they cheated behind Wendy's back for 15 years and what's more outrageous about that is that Wendy knew about the affair. She was aware about this from the beginning. Wendy even mentioned that Sharina was not the first girl that Kevin cheated with. There is a lot of other stuff that Wendy exposed about them when she left Kevin. She also discovered that when Kevin was still married to her, he even bought a house for Sharina. I mean, I had to, and I knew, I'd know, all right, we were married for almost 22 years. We were together for 25 years. I don't regret the day of meeting him. I don't regret putting up with him for all 25 years. Um, and I cert and that has nothing to do with him having this baby or him having this uh, side girl for almost 15 years. It was revealed later on that this house was only a few miles away from the house where Kevin and Wendy used to live together. But that's not the only time that Kevin spoiled Sharina using Wendy's money. That might be something that really stuck with people's mind because, come on, a house? Really? By the looks of it, Kevin was really into Sharina because he supports her in everything that she wants to do and explore. But before we get deeper into the video, if you love Wendy Williams and want to see more videos about her, then make sure that you subscribe to our channel. I've got the most exciting news about Wendy that will likely shock you and more, so always watch out for that. So, where do you, uh, where do you see Wendy going from here? We gonna keep talking about Wendy. That's the last question. I don't recommend that you work with your husband because I made him my manager and then when I decided to divorce him, he had to be fired. Okay. In other words, I made him divorced and unemployed all in one. Do you go through it hard when you get your period? Oh my God. I can't get out. Oh my God, I gotta do that thing for Nickelodeon. Oh my God. I love you for watching that. So as I was saying, Kevin was really keen on satisfying everything that Sharina wants. That is why it is also possible that his determination to extort more money from Wendy is due to the pressure that he's getting from Sharina as well. I mean, it's not impossible that she just wakes up one day and decides to leave him because she would not be able to continue living lavishly without Wendy's alimony paid to Kevin. They're basically living off of Wendy's money that they do not even find the need to work for their own money and provide for the little family. Besides, they both would not be able to live that kind of life that they got used to if not for Wendy anyways. 
People only knew about Kevin because of Wendy, so it's like he is no one without her. It is so obvious as well because he keeps on bringing up Wendy's name every chance that he gets. He would always mention her in interviews and statements just to make people talk about him. That is why he does not have any right to take credit for her success. He should never claim that he's the king behind the purple chair of power. Have you heard him call himself that? Because he did in one of his interviews for a podcast. Can someone please tell him that it was so cringy? Like what I've said earlier, Kevin is really supportive of Sharina and he also invested in her businesses using Wendy's money once again. He enrolled her to be a massage therapist. Sharina actually tried to start different businesses but all of those seemed to fail and did not give her the success and fame that she's badly wanting to get. These are just some of the things that we gather from reports, articles, and Wendy's interviews, but I bet that there are more things that Kevin gave Sharina using Wendy's money. Considering everything that they made Wendy go through, it is safe to say that karma has finally found its way towards them. People were not even a bit sympathetic towards him when he revealed his current situation. He tried so hard to make himself look pitiful but all of that is for nothing because the judge released a statement already and it was in favor of Wendy of course. Kevin has been pulling this act and has been using this alimony card for a very long time already. That is becoming really old. He thinks that people would suddenly side with him just because he talked about the possibility of going broke. People were actually rejoicing that he and Sharina are finally getting what they deserve. They have to pay for the consequences of their actions anyway, so they should start dealing with their financial problems on their own and as a family without involving Wendy anymore. Do you think that Sharina would really leave Kevin in the future once he can no longer give her the life that she got used to? I would love to know so comment your thoughts down below. Now going back to our video, Sharina tried to pressure Kevin before to divorce Wendy, but knowing that Wendy has the money, Kevin never had the confidence to do that. Sharina eventually settled as a mistress and even became unbothered about that. I guess as long as she's getting all those extravagant gifts from Kevin who is using Wendy's money, then Sharina would not care about whatever names people will call her. Even though she's a current partner of Kevin, it would never change the fact that she was once a mistress. And even though Kevin never tried to divorce Wendy, Wendy had finally found a reason to cut off Kevin when she found out that Sharina was pregnant. For sure, Sharina was happy when she found out that Wendy would be giving Kevin alimony. She could still keep living like Kevin's queen without actually doing any hard work. Both her and Kevin are leeching off of Wendy and they were never ashamed about that, not even once. Now that Wendy is no longer showering them with financial support, they were quick to make a move to make her continue paying for alimony. Kevin claimed that Wendy breached their contract by not sending money any longer. He said that he would soon lose his house because of this and that he's behind on most of his bills. As if Wendy really has to take responsibility for him and his new family after everything that they did to her. Considering that there is a limitation to their agreement, Wendy found an opportunity to stop giving Kevin the satisfaction of splurging on her money. It is stated in the document that they'd signed that if Wendy's contract with her show was not renewed or cancelled, then Kevin agrees that the severance pay would be subject to modification or even termination. Wendy saw this opportunity and used it towards her advantage. Many people are even saying that Wendy had this plan all along, and if so, then well played because she's really toying Kevin and Sharina around. As for Kevin, the possibility that he would lose a lot because he recently lost the case against Wendy is very prominent. He might not just lose his house, but he would also eventually lose his partner, Sharina, if he can no longer treat her as the queen that she thinks she is. These two are apparently living in a bubble that Wendy is slowly popping. Wendy is waking them up for their dreams of never working for the rest of their lives. Additionally, the judge also dismissed Kevin's request for Wendy to pay attorney fees. Remember that he hired new high-value lawyers last January to represent him in this case? He must have done it in the hopes that they would be able to solve his dilemma and help him get more money from Wendy. But their plan completely failed so he would be required to pay these new lawyers. If his claims that he will soon go broke is just an act, then it will slowly turn into reality. Many would agree that Sharina would not stay around if Kevin does not recover from his financial struggle. If Kevin wants to keep Sharina and is really worrying that she might leave him, then the best way that he can do that is to find a decent job since he thinks so highly of himself anyway. He thinks that he's so great so why not find a high paying job to tame down your mistress? 
This drama is getting more and more exciting, and we cannot wait for Wendy to return to talk about this issue herself. Kevin should plan out carefully because if he pursues his case further, then he would just likely embarrass himself and Wendy would just be laughing at the two of them because of all their efforts to get more money instead of focusing on themselves only. Well, if Sharina leaves Kevin because he does not have money anymore, then it would also be on him because he gave her a lifestyle that he cannot even afford if not for Wendy's money. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out these videos.